Hey guys, and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. Now, I've called this video Making Money from Money. Now, a lot of Australians would look at these coins and just go, yep, that's worth $2, that's worth $1, 20 cent, 50 cents, 5 cents, and 10 cents. But what I want to talk about today is just six coins in particular, okay? So these coins are all low mintage coins. Now I want to talk about the coin themselves and I want to talk about the value of each of these coins. Every coin you see before us right today has been found in circulation. Okay, so uh, basically in pocket change or by searching coin rolls as we as we love to do on this channel. Uh, but it's interesting that, you know, like uh, a lot of these coins would go through many people's hands and they would never look at the, the value or even the other side of these coins and to see what's going on. They're, they're just another coin that gets passed through the tills and passed through the hands. And as you buy your groceries, as you go to the milk bar, all those sort of things. Now, we we as collectors look at these coins very differently. And we see value in these coins because there's more information about these coins that the average Australian or no matter what country you're from, the, the, the same rules will apply whether you're from the UK or whether you're from the US or the Philippines, wherever you're from, uh, these same rules apply. Now, we're, we're looking at Australian coins here and we'll be looking at the mintages of these coins. And now these coins here, as I said, are all low mintage coins. So let's start at the $2. Now, I've specifically chosen these coins because they can be found in circulation. And to a collector... These coins are worth far more than face value. So I've gone through uh, and had a look at recent sales on eBay for circulated coins based on all these six coins here. Now, we'll start off with the $2 coin. Now, this is the, uh, the purple. So this is the Coronation $2 coin. And... A lot of people wouldn't come across this very often, but they're still out there and they can be found. Okay, so this is the, uh, what is it, the 60th, let's zoom in a bit, the 60th uh, year of the coronation of the queen. And this particular coin is circulated, as you can see, it's not as shiny as it would have been if it was in uncirculated condition. Um, but these coins are valuable. Only one million of these coins were made. Okay, so that's a low mintage coin. So these guys here, in this kind of grade, and I checked recent sort of eBay sales just to have a look, and prices varied all the time, but an average of around $20 for one of these coins. So you start to see why I'm saying making money from money. We're essentially making money from money for free. Uh, as long as you put the time in, you can find coins like this. So, if this coin is a $2 face value, as it says there, $2, and we're able to sell it for $20, that's a 10 times return on the value of this coin. Okay, so this is where you're able to make money from money. Now... There's there's two different types of collectors in, in some ways. There's many more types of collectors, but we're, we're, we're coin collectors. There's two different types of coin collectors. And I, I probably put myself in the category of someone who likes to find uh, value of coins from coins that we find in circulation. And the other type of collector is someone who buys um, uncirculated coins from the mint from the perth mint um and they collect them and sometimes the value of these coins goes up because of their um, scarcity or because of what they're made from such as uh, silver or gold and the price of those coins fluctuate with the market price of those two um, metals now i like I like this kind of coin collecting. I do buy coins because I do love coins, um, but I love the hunt. Okay, so my channel has always been about noodling and uh, and finding coins in circulation. That's that's what noodling is. Okay, it's a bit of a funny name, but that's what it is. So um, 
the second coin, which is a, a more recent coin. Now, you may not have seen this one, especially if you're new to the channel. Uh, if you've only been in, in coin collecting for a little while, this is the 2016 changeover coin. So, this here is one coin you really want to try and find. Okay, so this coin here has a mintage of 560,000. So, this is a very low mintage coin, and it's, and it's certainly our lowest uh, circulating coin. So, they're going to be tough to find, but you can find them. You do need to go through quite a few dollar coin rolls uh, in order to find them, but you will find them. Um, yeah, I've, I've found plenty of them, um, and I probably... I probably do go through a fair few coins, but you've got to put the work in to try and find them. So that's the 2016 changeover coin. Now, based on recent eBay sales, in circulated condition, these things are selling for around the $12 each. So that's a 12 times return on the dollar. So that's that's a huge return. Um, and that's what initially got me into coin collecting, was just seeing the return of these coins that um and we will get to the five cent coins um and that's where i saw the greatest return so the 50 cent coin that i've pulled out and there, there's a number of 50 cent coins i could have gone through but what what i chose today was the 1985 50 cent coin another low mintage coin it's um it's it's the coat of arms now remember we're just purely talking about coins that are as they should be. We're not talking about any error coins here. We're purely talking about coins that can be found in circulation. Uh, error coins, I love error coins, but there's um, there's there's so much variety in the market uh, as to condition and how how much of a percentage the coin may be off center and all these sort of things, and they all affect price. But these are the the I suppose the examples of what can be found if you look okay so if you come across these 1985 10 uh, 50 cent coins now a million only a million of these 50 cent coins exist okay so and that's the same with the 1993 but i've chosen the 85 because there's more value in this coin uh, as of right now compared to what the sale price of the 1993 50 cent coin is okay so what i'm saying there is the 85 is worth a fair bit but it's also worth keeping the 93s because no doubt the 93s will do what the 85s have done over time so as i said one million one million of these now i looked at recent sort of sales on these as well in circular condition just like this and these guys were selling for $10 each. So that's another $20, 20 times return on the face value of this coin. Okay, so that's a huge return for spending some time trying to find this. And these are regularly selling. So it's not like they're just selling once, once in a blue moon. These are always selling because people can't find these. So they're worth finding, worth holding on to. Uh, the 20 cent coin. Now, 20 cent coin is really difficult. There's no real standout low mintage coins. Okay, so um, I, I've gone and picked the Federation series from 2001. And there's, I think, I don't know, seven or eight coins, one for each state, plus a couple of extras like Norfolk Island. There's a Northern Territory one. There's a Canberra one. Uh all the different states are represented okay so there's a lot to uh a lot to come across there's the queensland one certainly one of my favorites they're all dated 2001 okay so lots of different ones that can be found they are all collectible they are all worth more than 20 cents okay so i had a look at the recent sales figures as i've been doing and these guys here um, regularly selling in in uh, in this kind of grade for three dollars each. Now that's not much, but that's still a twenty cent coin that you're able to turn into three dollars. Okay, which is a fifteen times return on your money. Now it does take time to find it, but if you've got time, find them. They are well worth keeping aside, and it hasn't cost you anything. Um, 
depending on how you sell it it's all it's also there are free ways to sell these coins ebay there will be charges but through some of the facebook sites and pages you can sell these things for free all right the next one what have we gone and done the 10 cent coins now i've gone to grab my favorite one which is the 2011 10 cent coin a mintage of what is it 1.7 million okay so another low mintage coin now i'm fairly lucky i know some of you around the country really struggle to find these guys but they must have been dumped around the melbourne area uh, when they were first initially put in so i don't have that much trouble finding them uh, but they are well and truly worth keeping and well and truly worth finding so these guys here in circulated condition and they still 10 cent coins always still look nice especially the 2011s they they all still look good and these are this is just under some light so there is light and these probably do look a bit a little bit shinier than what they would be without this light um but these are just typical of what you will find okay so the 2011 10 cent coin mintage of 1.7 million these have been selling for five bucks each okay so that's a 50 times return on that coin you know you're turning 10 cents into 50 into five dollars that's huge you, you won't get that by putting it in the bank so this this is it's a huge return that can be found by just putting some time and effort into and that's what i love about noodling is just it's it's your time but i find it relaxing it's just the way i unwind uh lately i've just been so busy i haven't been able to unwind and i need to unwind so i've got to i've got to get some some more coins and start noodling again but that leads us on to our last one which is the five cent coin I could have chosen a couple of coins in this category, but I chose to stick with the old 1972 five cent coin. We'll try and get some focus there. Uh, let's put my hand there. There we go. Um, so that's that's the 1972. Okay, these are tough to find. They're not easy. Um, sometimes you'll get success, really good success, and you'll find a few in a in a row. Um, in like in in a couple of sessions but other times you'll you'll go through a hundred dollars worth and you won't find any and that's a lot of coins um so this here is uh certainly well worth finding and holding on to so let's talk about the value of this one all right so the five cent coin 1972 in this grade okay like there's all different grades here but they're all pretty much they're all similar like a little bit dirty but they're all about the same sort of same sort of shine and luster on them fairly dull uh, but still in good condition uh, with the crowns visible uh, they haven't been rubbed off or worn down too much so for a coin that's been in circulation for a long while these things here are selling in this grade for around seven dollars each turning five cents into seven dollars now you find enough of these and you can all of a sudden start buying the coins that you want uh, to buy from the mint or buy on ebay to fill in your collections and those kind of things but at seven dollars that's a hundred and forty dollar return which is just massive and there are so many different coins that can be found in circulation that have great returns uh, if you're able to sell them um, i'm not saying it's always easy to sell but if you focus on the right coins you will be able to sell them if you set your price right um, people will buy them because uh, there are so many new collectors coming on board uh, especially after the great australian coin hunt uh, lots of new collectors they're discovering new coins they're discovering coins they're realizing that there's value in these coins they love looking at the detail and they want to try and make sets so uh, not everyone's got the time to go out and um, spend the time getting the coins bringing them home it is work you know it does take time and effort um, but if you put it in it can really pay off and you can find some great coins you can make a little money on the side and um, and you're helping others to be able to put these into their collections so they can fill their sets so 
that's my look at making money for free. Um, it, it's you know, it, it's certainly been the case for me. I've been able to do very well out of out of noodling. While I don't sell many coins, I, I don't. I I hoard, um, but um, I enjoy holding the coins. I like looking at the coins, touching the coins, seeing the coins, um, and at some stage, look, they I may choose to sell some. I uh, I will pass them on to my kids, uh, those kind of things, and and that's what I love doing is being able to to share these coins with others and I uh, certainly love doing the giveaways on, on the channel so there'll be certainly a lot more of that coming up but for now guys that is it I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, at these coins I think my voice is about to give up so I best to stop but thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so and uh, we'll certainly have more videos coming out soon thanks for watching guys